This is the story of one race car, two drivers, a man with a passion, another man with a lead foot. The story of winning, losing, working hard to get it all back, and then some jerk ruins it all and you lose it again. This is the story of car and drivers. <laughs> In 1970, Jerry Junebug Abilenian spent every last cent he had on a new Boss 302 Ford Mustang. He stripped out the interior, turned it into a race car, and had the most amazing year any driver has ever had. One wreck in Florence, Italy ended it all. It took Jerry 44 years to put his dream car back together. He did it, hand-built part by hand-built part. When it was done, he couldn't let it sit in a showroom. He had to see his dream car race again. But he couldn't drive. His injuries from 44 years earlier meant his neck was attached by only one thin nerve. And so he went to Craigslist and hired a newcomer, Larry Carringer, to drive his priceless one-off racing dream car. Well, you know, I never had much of nothing in my life, but uh... What I did have with that Mustang, I got that Mustang when I was a boy and I started racing it. I mean, I was racing it good. I, I made uh, a lot of wins with that thing, took a lot of checkered flags. I went all over the country and then eventually I went around the world with that thing, with that Mustang. We won races every which way. One day we had us a bad wreck. That was in Italy. I remember it well. I was driving real hard and I come through this like tunnel like thing and I guess I just slipped up. Still hurts me today. That's why I had to quit. Got me two rods up my back to keep my neck on. Now some might say I was foolish because I don't have much of nothing except this here garage. But I did put her together piece by piece. That Mustang and me, we was one. And I built the metal parts with my bare hands and I put them together. I love my life. I decided she shouldn't just stay right there in the garage. So what I do, I hired me the best driver I could find, named Larry Carringer. Put him in that car, my car. I wanted to see him go racing. And he did. And this here's the story. <laughs> All right now, partner, you read me? Take her easy. Hey, where do I pull you my iPhone? What? Never mind, I'll use earbuds. Hey, green flag, go, go, go. Yeah, I'm on it. Hey, uh, Jerry, uh, do I make a left or a right up here? What? Whoa, 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 up there, son. Oh! Oh! Well, you stupid... What did you do to my baby? Sorry, Jerry, it's only cosmetic. W which way do I go? Straight it out, turn. Turn the dad you got pain. Huh? What, what, which way? Right? Where am I going? 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 Yeah, left. Just go left. Go left. <laughs> Check it out, losers. Hey, Larry, are you sure the damage is only cosmetic? Uh, yeah, Jerry. It's just the hood and the headlights and the fenders and the bumpers and the windshield, uh, rocker panels, I think, and the radiator. The radiator's cosmetic, right? Is that a joke? Are you laughing? Chuck. Shouldn't have had that big gulp. I need a rest stop up ahead. Can I ask you a question, Larry? Sure, what? Are you ever going to teach me iPhoto? You buy one-to-one -one with a new computer and you got it. Uh, what's the mean if the check engine light is flashing? You did something stupid. Hey, now, careful. He's up there. Not too fast. No. 
Carringer continued racing for Jerry in a rebuilt Ford Mustang for part of one more race. He drove hard. He drove fearlessly. He drove like it didn't matter what happened until Jerry announced he was giving up racing and giving his car to Larry Carringer. At that point, Larry realized... If I wreck this thing, I gotta pay for it. And that's when Larry decided it was time to park one of the most famous racing cars in little-known history. 